Hey, hello guys, this is Kartik from ExecutorAutomation.com and this is part 3 of our Mobile Framework Development with Appium video series. And in this part, we're going to talk about data-driven testing with JXL in Appium. So before watching this part, I would request you to watch part 2 of this series and Selenium Framework Design and Development video series of our previous playlist in Execute Automation channel since this part is going to depend on a playlist as well as a video. All right. So data driven testing with JXL. So in this part, we will discuss how to perform the data driven testing using JXL with Appium. So again, we have already discussed a detailed explanation on data driven testing using JXL in part seven and part eight of our Selenium framework design and development video series. So you can go to our YouTube channel and watch these two video for a complete detailed understanding on the theoretical part of JXL. So I'm not going to touch anything about that, but I'm just going to copy paste some of the codes from that particular articles. And then we're going to start working from there. And then we'll see how the same works with our Appium as well. So let me flip to Chrome. So this is our execute automation website and here you can search for data driven testing in Selenium and just hit search. And then you can just scroll down a little and then you can go here in the data driven testing using JXL. So this will bring me up to the DDT coding and you can click that. So here we have the complete code available, right? So we have also some more codes available in the part two of our data driven testing in Selenium using JXL. So you can go there or you can directly search for this particular title to find the complete code. So this is the complete code I got. So I'm just going to copy paste these codes directly into my project. So before that, I require the JXL library as well, which you need to download explicitly from the website. All right, so I'm going to create a class called Excel sheet driver. So let me first copy the whole code and let me go to my Eclipse. So this is the same project which we were working in part two of this particular series. So what I'm going to do is again, let me go to the simple Appium test. And here we have the com.example and com.example.pages. And let me quickly create one more class. And let's call the package name as com.example.lib, which stands for library. And then I'm going to create a class called Excel Sheet uh, Library. All right, hit finish. And then let me just copy paste this whole code directly okay this is excel sheet driver hmm. let me give this as excel sheet library then anyways is fine all right and then let's create the constructor as well the same name and we are missing the jxl and that's the problem with the error so i'm just going to the java build path in the libraries, I'm going to hit the add external jar and I'm going to select the JXL. So I'm going to select that and hit OK. Let me import this one by one then. All right. And the IO exception as well. So about the file. All right. So seems like all the errors are gone except one or two. All right, so there is one more error. Ah, uh, yeah. So this is column uh, less than or equal to, maybe. Yeah. All right, so seems like the whole code is written fully. And now uh, I think the library is good to go. And then we need to use this particular code. So I will not be explaining how this code works because the other two videos will actually cover how this functionality of the code works. So I will go directly to the test. And here, instead of passing the values 20 and 30 as a hard coded value, I'm going to pass them from the Excel sheet. So again, I need to create an Excel sheet. So I'm going to click the Excel and I'm going to add two numbers, right? So let me quickly create a Excel sheet 
and let's call this as number one and this is going to be number two and just uh, give a number here maybe number 20 and 30 that should be good and also we can put a result here to see what is the result maybe we can say the result is going to be 50 awesome so this is the value so i'm then going to save this guy into my computer at any of the file location so i'm going to just save this in f colon then so i've saved this and then let me go right here and let's first invoke the particular excel sheet library uh, class so for that let me first call this uh, class so excel excel sheet library uh, is equal to excel is equal to new excel sheet library and we need to give the path here so the path is going to be my f colon uh, double slash data dot xls so it should be double slash yeah and it's throwing me an error to add the throws declaration exception okay so i'm just adding that one as well and then i need to do two steps first of all i need to uh, add the populate column dictionary so this one uh, or i can even uh, call this method right here itself so column dictionary method if i call this here then probably i don't have to call them explicitly so once this is done in this particular class the next thing is we need to read the values and populate that in here so for reading we can directly write like this excel dot read cell of the column so in the excel sheet the column is actually uh, the first column so i need to pass one so actually we need to we can either pass the numbers here or we can also do this way excel dot uh, get cell of the column name so the column name is equal to is going to be number one and the row number is going to be one similarly i can also pass the second number here as well all right great and here instead of 50 i'm going to pass the same and instead of number one i'm going to say it is going to be a result because we created a result column as well in the excel sheet so let me quickly open the excel sheet and show you how it looks like so we created the data.xls and here we created uh, the number one so which is here for this particular first number and number two for the second number and the result for the uh, verification value which you're going to pass all right so everything is fine uh, next thing is we need to open the appium so i'm going to open the appium and at the same time we need to open the emulator as well so visual studio emulator for android I'm just opening that one as well and then i'm going to launch this So let's see if all the configuration is perfect for this particular Appium server. So is it pointing to the calculator APK? Yes, so it points to the calculator APK, so I don't have to worry about it. So I can just hit the start to start the node server of our Appium. And at the same time, the Visual Studio emulator for Android is also booting up. So once everything is all set to go, then we can start our test and run the test as well. So I don't have to make any changes in this particular desired capabilities because it's all the same for the calculator application. So it's also perfect. So we have added very quickly the data-driven testing for our Appium here as well. All right, still booting up. All right, so the Appium is uh, started and also our emulator is booted. So let me quickly run and see how things works. So I'm just going to run this. I have not tested this code yet. So maybe the test can fail. So let's see how things works. 
all right as expected the test got failed uh what is the error it says the index out of bound exception so maybe the problem is with our code here so it should not be less than or equal to maybe it's just less than all right so i've just reduce the size and coming back to our appium let me stop this and start this once again and let me go to the back all right and then let me quickly run this test and see how things works again so it is running and the calculator yep i think it's going to enter some number here yes it entered the 20 and it should enter 30 all right and it should add the values so now the test should get passed all right see the test got passed passed test so we executed this particular line of code so now your code is very easily performing the operation along with the data coming from an external data which is nothing but your excel sheet so this is how you can perform the data driven testing using appium so that's it guys thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day